Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and welcome back to another awesome episode of Siege World, everybody. That's right, we're getting ready to hop in, because we are hours away from wartime. And to show you guys exactly how long it is exactly, we do slash SB Kingdom, boom, we are four hours out. So today's episode is going to be everything doing last minute preparations for the wartime itself, and then finally, tomorrow's episode will be this season's finale. So I'm really pumped up, be sure to check out Siege World, haven't done so already and be sure to hop on to the, the siege world itself this video will go up probably about an hour or so before wartime so when you see this go up hop on the server and get ready because wartime is right around the corner and then we're going to go ahead and we'll be able to take out people's outposts attack their castle and it's going to be a wonderful time so it's gonna be great now real quick let's make sure can we use our kit again do we have time and we have to, oh we have to wait 27 minutes so maybe at the end of this episode if not right before wartime we definitely will and it's time to do the last minute preparations that we just need to complete right before and so we got 15,000 timber there Not bad. Not bad. Let's talk this iron mine. Boom shakalaka 15,000 treasure all looking pretty good Why does the thunder keep striking? I don't I just keep hearing thunder strike in my game I have no clue. There it is again. What is going on? There must be some massive battles going on So another hundred thousand coming from the treasure point the essence point boom shakalaka and just so you guys could see Slash SP player. Take a look at that. 15,000 timber, 194,000 treasure, 3.9k essence, and we still have 10 glory as well, which is pretty dang epic. Uh, stables, luckily, are level 3, so we have access to everything, including the super pony. So we're going to purchase that probably right before. Actually, we'll, we'll buy it now for when we go to the war zone in this episode and try and take out some poor souls that get in our way. And then let's go down and make sure that we upgrade all of our other buildings and rooms to the max level before wartime. If you don't remember, at the end of the last episode, we managed to upgrade our walls all the way up to the final level, which are bedrock. And to give you guys a little idea about how strong those are, take a look at that. 3,000 health, and they regen 15 hearts every 5 seconds. They are very difficult to take down. So we're very prepared for wartime now. And, oh, we actually have some stuff we could sell off. There we go. And I saw something nasty in there. I saw, I thought I saw two vile creatures hanging out in there. Uh, so we got super soup as well. We could throw all this in there. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, we gotta keep the super pony. Throw out the standard mount in that one. Um, can we put, there we go, put all this down there. Ooh, diamond. We can easily sell off a nice little diamond. And I think that that is pretty good in terms of clearing out our inventory. There we go, so let's make sure everything else is all up to speed. Our armory is definitely level 3, because we have a blacksmith. Our kitchen, I believe, is level 3, because I think we have access to super soups, right? Let's see. Perfect. Oh my god, I'm so happy that we managed to just barely make it in time to upgrade all of our things all the way. Apothecary, level 3, maxed out right there. Here we go, what is this? Uh, is this a blacksmith? Blacksmith, level 3 as well. Oh man, we're getting there. I think the only thing we have is a siege room. We have to get to level 3 as well. We have to use some glory points to get that. And, oh no, 2 hours. In 2 hours time, that technically is right before wartime. So, we'll have a siege room level 3 as well. Fully upgraded there. Oh my god, we might have everything fully upgraded. Except our timber farm, which is level 4. But we don't really need that fully upgraded. Oh, the enchantment chamber. 8 hours. Uh, well, that is pretty much where all of our remaining glory is going to go to, because there's no way we're going to go into wartime without having, yeah, there's just zero chance. Without having an enchantment chamber 3, it's not even worth going to wartime. You need enchantment chamber 3, so you get your custom enchants and everything. When it's done building, I'll come back down here and show you guys what the enchantment chamber level 3 exactly does. And, oh, look, here's our treasure room level 2, and apparently he turns into a snow golem? I... Was not notified of this. Uh, right here, access to a third storage vault if we upgrade it one more time. So this will basically increase the... Oh, but it's eight hours. So we don't even have time for that, unfortunately. So before battle phase as well, we should bring up our best armor and put them randomly in some of these chests. Or actually, well, I can't even do that on camera because then people are going to watch and know which chest it's in. So I guess what that means is, unfortunately... I'll have to wait till I'm off camera, and then I'll move the stuff up there so nobody knows my dirt is secret. No light team players are watching me because they might try and take everything that we have. All right, well, this is the enchantment chamber level three. 
And as you can tell, it gets really good. So we have right here is a mystery weapon enchant. You can go tier one, two, or three, mystery armor enchants, and then mystery enchant books. And those ones can be for bows or pretty much anything. You never really know what you're going to get. So to be fair, I'm going to buy one of each just for now, just so we can have a little bit of fun. It's kind of like playing the lottery. You really don't know what you're going to get here, but let's see. Mystery weapon enchant, knockback two. Not exactly one that I'd prefer, but definitely go when you're taking over an outpost. Because the way the outpost works are the same as control points in that it's the same exact mechanic, but they have a thousand health instead of a hundred. So it's good if you can knock other players way out of there. So I guess technically speaking, it's not bad to have for that. Evasion 2, that's good. Make it so you, you know, less chance of actually getting hit. Although we do have Evasion 1 and Evasion 2 on these diamond boots that someone gave us. And finally, the mystery enchant. Here we go. Blast Resistance 3. A little on the random side, but I'll take it. So I'm going to keep these for armor that we're going to use for wartime. Just keep them nice and safe downstairs. And unfortunately, as you guys can tell, we don't have a lot of timber. And we have a decent amount of treasure. The treasure we should be fine on, but we don't have a lot of timber. And we may or may not need more essence as well. So we should go out into the overworld right now. Head out, or I guess not overworld. We should head out into the war zone. And I vote we try and get some more timber. And oh, we just lost the lumber mill. It is so on. Slash warp. The war zone. Slash kingdom for my chat. Let's take timber. There we go. Charge into timber. All right. Let's hope that our teammates follow in suit with this. Because if they do, then we are going to be so set. We'll be able to match up our timber. Hopefully get it to like 20k-ish. I'd, I'd feel pretty safe with like 20k timber, I'd say. And then... Treasure, I'm okay with 126,000. Uh, and we may want to, during this game as well, or this episode, get ourselves some essence. And oh my god, look how good the Super Pony is. I am so glad we unlocked him from the stables. This is why you need a stables level 3. It's not even that expensive either to get one. They're just so necessary. And what the heck? Did our horse... Did he glitch up? Why is he... He got stuck on a tree. Stop it! I'm just gonna kill him off. If you kill him off, you can respawn him back in in case something like that happens, you know. You can never really tell. That kind of stuff just tends to happen, you know, from time to time. Oh, someone in chat is buying Evasion 3 for 100k. That's pretty nuts. We got an Evasion 2. So it just goes to show you how important Evasion 3 is. We have Evasion 2, and Evasion 3 is 100k. So, Evasion 2, if I had to price it, I guess it'd be probably about like 50k, 40k. And oh! Our kingdom... Took back the lumber mill, which is awesome for us, so we can sit on top of that and take some timber resources. We're not going to stay there for too long, but I would like to get that at least to 15k. So, we'll hang around there for that long. And, oh my god, we accidentally hit a tree again. Note to self, stop hitting trees with your pony. You know, it should be self-explanatory, but sometimes us Bacchus don't really think exactly too clearly. And oh, here we go. Here's where we have to be. Super Pony away! Oh my god, he's got some leaping to him too. He's not just fat. Wow! So I guess when I told them to take over the timber control point, they kind of took it to heart and ran here as fast as possible. So once again, we're going to do this just so we get like 15k timber. We realistically don't need that much more of it. And then after that, we're going to run over, get some essence rolling as well. And uh, I guess we'll do... Let me think. How much is a good amount of essence? Uh... We'll get like 4k essence, like 15k timber, and then after that we'll probably just go hunt people for a little bit, and we'll call it quits, because we will be fully prepared for the big moment. The moment we've all been waiting for, which is wartime. I am so pumped though, I am really pumped for that. And where's my horse? Is that my horse? Did anyone see my horse? Did that guy- did someone take my horse? Is that why he's not respawning? There we go, I think I- I think I just got him to respawn there, so perfect. All right, and we have 13k timber. We're strolling on up there. We're going to be at 14k very, very soon, and I could not be more pumped. Remember, to comment down below and leave a like. Let's go for 5,000 likes for the last one before the, uh, well, the last one, I guess, before the Great War. And, of course, from there, you know, it's 
Good times coming. So, all right, there we go, 14K. And remember, everybody, so 5,000 likes, and of course, comment down below with what your favorite part of this series has been so far, so I know for next season what you want to see. And season two, did you like us doing the parkour events? Do you want to see us do more events at the Warzone? Do you want to see us do more player versus player? Do you want to see us do more dungeons? Uh, all of the above. Did you like this season? Let me know what you liked and what you didn't like, and that way we can keep on going forward. So we've got 14K. Timber now. We're doing good. Still on our way. Come on. Hey, just hit that 15k point. Hit that 15k and everything will be all right for the Baka from there. And then we can go and get the essence. Done. 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 Is there someone over there? I think someone's over there. I don't know for sure. I didn't hear a ding when I shot that, so maybe not. Yep. Well, if they are over there off camera, I certainly can get to them. Uh, I didn't see him anyway with those two shots that I didn't. And there we go. 15k timber. So we're stacked up there. Let's hop on our super pony and get the heck out of here. Oh, the summon was interrupted. I accidentally moved. All right, there we go. Summon in the super pony. Come on. And there we go. Oh, god dang it. They killed my horse. Let's see. We might have to just run away because I think they're just going to keep on killing him. Let's see. That'd be kind of- yeah, they're just gonna keep on killing him. Okay, well, we gotta run over to Essence then, because our teammates are trolling us. Alright, let's go this way. dun 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 And let's get out of here. Alright, I believe Essence is right around this bend, and then we just go kind of over this way. And remember, we don't need that much. Not even 4,000 Essence, honestly. I think if we just put that up to 3.5k, I'd be comfortable with that. Because keep in mind, they're going to keep collecting resources for the next couple hours, even until the, uh, the war time. So, alright, let's go swoosh on into here. And perfect essence control point. Let's take this and let's get going. So, less than 100 essence and then we'll be good to go. I wish the essence control point honestly gave a little more. Like, even, even like... Three essence per second would be nice for the first like couple minutes and then down to two and then one You know one essence right off the bat is a little little bad I'm not the biggest fan of that, but I guess you know They've done a lot of testing they know how to balance it and uh, this is just what they came up with so that's just the way she goes all right, so we got the 3.5 thousand essence there and the 15 thousand timber. Our treasure is absurd. It's at 126 thousand. So I think it's about time that we summon our super pony and we just get going from here and hunt down enemy players. Let's see what we can do here. Super pony. Come on, please. No one come up here. Oh, no. They got here. God dang it. Are they going to kill? Oh, they didn't kill him this time. Yes. All right. Finally, they did not kill my poor horse. He didn't deserve to die all those other times that they would kill him. And luckily, he got away with it. Alright, so let's keep looking around. I believe they took the treasure control point. I don't know if we ever got it back in. Whoa! Okay, well, these people just apparently died over here. It's very sad to see them die like that. Although, they're probably all, they're probably all from the other team, the light team. So, maybe it's not that big of a deal. Alright, let's keep trolling over this way. Oh, there's a light player. There we go. And... Time for us to take him clean out. Oh, he thought he was sneaking up on our teammates. And then he just got absolutely evaporated. So, oh, even though I did two of the hits on that guy, unfortunately this guy got the kill. But wait, if he takes longer than 15 seconds, we can take the head. Come on, come on, give me that. Oh, no, he got the play. Oh, my God. That guy just dropped 16 emeralds. Are you kidding me? We just got 8,000 treasure from one guy's death. That's absurd! Do you realize how much treasure that truly is? We literally just... I, I'm speechless. We've never gotten a kill worth that much. Why did that guy have 15 emeralds on him? He must have just been stacking them up. I feel, I feel really bad now. I actually kind of feel bad. Because that probably took him about 20 minutes in the war. Well, that just goes to show you. Use slash sell whenever you get a valuable resource. Because that guy probably just wasted like 15, 20 minutes collecting all that. And then he died. And the Baka got to steal all his emeralds. So, <laughs> I'm happy. He's certainly not. So, we'll go ahead and grab like one or two more quick kills before we're ready to go. And Ooh, there's a battle. There's a bow battle for the ages. Let's sneak up on this guy. Oh, I feel bad. He doesn't even see us coming. And, well, now he sees us coming for sure. But it might be a little too late for him. Yeah, he's going to be so dead. Oh, my God. Look at all of us swarming in. 
And that is why our team is so epic. Look at that. Our team is just so dang... Oh, he's got a leaping potion. This guy's got a leaper. He's a leaper. The leaping potions are so annoying. Oh, he's trying to get up in that tree. He's trying to get up to the tree. Don't let him. Don't let him. Come on. God dang it. God dang it. Don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. Come on. Oh my god. How much health does he have? How much more health could he possibly have? Come on. Don't let him out. Don't let him out. I just kind of want to keep on shooting him. There we go. And hold them at bay. At least towards their spawn there. Can I? I, I want to get in there. Come on. No, we got it. How is he not dead? This guy, this is a long battle, over 45 seconds. Oh, he stole 100 treasure from me. Apparently, he's got one of those thieving kits. And oh my god, oh my god, we're gonna die. Unless we're careful there. And I'm gonna, there we go. I ate one of the super soups as well. So we just got a ton, a golden apple and a super soup, actually. Wow, there are so many of these guys. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna fire my super arrows at them. Hopefully, that'll be enough to kill some of these players. Come on. Oh my god, they're keeping us at bay with all these bows. They're good. They're very good, I gotta say. Look at that, though. Spreading out the fire. And Oh, man. He just stuck up on us, and he stole... He stole a hundred treasure again, this guy. I, that's a good enchant. We gotta get one of those thieving enchants, honestly. Okay, there we go. Keep on hitting them. Keep on hitting them off. Alright, eat up the golden apple. And how, how are you not dead? How are you not dead yet? How do you... Oh, he just ate another super soup. So he's gonna be very difficult to kill. Okay, let's keep on hitting these guys. Come on. This guy, I, don't know, I think this guy went AFK in the middle of a war zone over here. Jeez, oh, someone died. Let's pick up this armor. Uh, nothing good. Oh, wait, those, those diamond leggings? Those might be pretty good. Let's see. Those are diamond leggings. We'll take those. With projectile protection two? Sure. I'll take those any day. That is a fairly good pickup, not gonna lie. Perfect. And we can drop those, drop that, drop that. Drop that, drop that, drop that, and that, and perfect. We can keep on collecting some pretty good stuff. And oh, so many people are there. We go. Spread the love. Look at that. It's so hard to miss when you have a volley five or volley three arrow like that that's shooting out five arrows at once, and they're all flame arrow. Oh my god, we just took that guy clean out. Like I feel bad. That guy's long dead, and this guy's dead. Give me your head there. Oh, someone's got an explosive bow. Someone has got the explosive. This is dangerous. This is dangerous territory. I kind of want to get out of here now because we're running out of players backing us up. There we go. All right. I think it's time. Yeah. Time to start a hasty retreat. Get us out of there. Get us out of there because we lost way too many teammates too quick. And oh, this guy. You picked on the wrong team there, buddy. You picked on the wrong team. Where, you could, where does he think he's going? Oh, my God. Look at all this. Okay. We got to go. We got to go. There are way too many of them coming after us. And especially if someone had intimidation, I would hate to be slowed down and stuck there. All right, I don't even know what loot we got. I don't even know. I have no idea what loot we have, and I'm kind of afraid to stop for too long to see. There we go. Come on. Pony out of here. Yes! Just in time before that guy was able to get to us. Get me home, buddies. There we go. Home free. We made it out of that little war. And let's see what we have Oh, we didn't really grab anything. How do we not... I guess that all that stuff was still spawn protected from his death. I'm not really sure what occurred there and why we didn't get more, but that's okay. A fun little war before the actual war. And that, everybody, is exactly what you could expect from the great war about to happen in about an hour or so after this video goes up. So take care, everybody. Peace out. I really do hope you all enjoyed this episode. Remember, let's go for 5,000 likes for the final episode before wartime. And take care. Have an awesome one.